Okay, here we are. I've finished wiring the shelf that goes in the, the locker. Uh, this will be the top of the shelf. And you can see I have a utility fan that's used to use cool electronics components. A simple light socket. And I have it elevated with a plastic um, junction box. And the way I did this, I took a... Uh, basically a bus. It's a terminal bus. So these first two terminals, don't want to touch them because they're plugged in. This is the hot. That's the white. The white is the uh, neutral. And you can see I've jumpered the neutral to here and onto here. And I've jumpered the hot to here and onto here. This first pair that I've jumpered to goes to the light bulb. And this is the neutral, which goes to a switch. And you can see that turns that on. The second pair goes to the fan. This is the, this the hot, the neutral. The switch is on the neutral side of it. And you don't know if you can see that, but probably here. It's an 1800 CFM fan. Um, I think I paid like $13 for it on Amazon. It's pretty nice. I hated to cut the cord on it, but you know, that's why you have to wire it in there. It actually came with a plug. Um, I'm thinking I might put a, a rheostat in the circuit to control the speed of it. I just need to kind of figure out um, if that'll work or not. I'm thinking 1800 is, is pretty slim, uh, pretty slow rather, so it shouldn't be, shouldn't blow the film around too much. Um, I can feel the air coming out the holes here. So this will be the bottom of the shelf. We'll sit up. So essentially what I'll do, I'll turn the light on. This will heat up the compartment in the upper part of the locker. And then the fan will gently blow the air over the film. I thought about putting it, the light on the bottom side, but I don't want it to be really, really hot right next to the film. And I'd rather take a little extra time to dry the film properly then melt the film. Okay, that's the wiring. Uh, next is to assemble the cabinet, uh, run the power cord through the cabinet with, uh, I've got these locking grommets to safely lock it into place, and then drill the holes and mount the switches so the switches will be on the side of the cabinet to the right. So my next video will show you uh, uh, how that's done. Keep on fixing.